What is up guys? So I decided to do a winter solstice ritual tonight in honor of the gods in the season. And so for those that don't know, traditionally on the winter solstice, especially in Greece, they celebrate the birth of Dionysos and Heracles. So that is the traditional thing to do this time of year, I guess especially over in Greece. So we are going to do a prayer to Dionysos, Heracles, the Chorus Estia, and Apollo, and Apollon. Like I said, a very simple ritual tonight, just to honor them, to mark the occasion. Because of course, the return of the sun is coming, so we will honor Apollo as well. And so a very um, simple winter solstice ritual. As the uh, queen and daughter of almighty Kronos, you hold the center of the home, its eternal and greatest fire. And may you consecrate these initiates in the holy rituals tonight and make them thrive forever blessed, cheerful and holy. Home of the blessed gods, the strong foundation of mortals, eternal, many shaped and loved and green as grass, smiling. And blessed one, take these offerings willingly and breathe forth wealthy bliss and health with your soothing hands. And we thank you and honor you first tonight, Redestia. Heracles, strong in mind and mighty, stout titan, your powerful hands are filled with brave victories. And you change form, father of time, eternal, kind, and infallible. Your passion is fierce, you to whom we pray tonight. All powerful with a ruling heart, strong archer and prophet, devouring father, higher than all, aid to all. For mortals, you chased and tamed the wild races because you yearn for peace. The splendidly honored nurturer of the young, Self-raised, tireless, the unmatching offspring of the earth. You flash the lightning of your ancestor's spears. Famous Payan, and dawn and dark night whirl around your head. Your twelve brave deeds spread cat east to west. Undying in practice, immense and unshaken. Come, blessed one, and bring all your charms against diseases. Shaking your club in your hand driving off foul confusion, and with feathered bolts, send away hard death. Hell and blessings to you, Heracles. Give us strength for this new year as we celebrate your birth tonight. So I call the maiden daughter of Cadmus, the queen of all, beautiful simile. With lovely hair and deep breasts, the mother of joyful Dionysos, who carries the Thyrsus. She was struck with labor pain, made immortal by the will of Crony and Zeus, brought to her honors by the shining Persephone every third year among the mortals. And when they perform rites enacting the fearful birth pains for your son, Balkos, the sacred table and holy secrets, now to you, divine lady and daughter of Cadmus, I pray to place a gentle, fair mind always in these initiates. So tonight we honor your mother, great Dionysos, and we thank her tonight. May she never be forgotten. And I invoke Dionysos, the roaring god of the Bacchanal, first made double-natured and thrice-born, the Bacchic lore, wild, hidden, two-horned, two-formed, teeming with ivy, bull-faced like Ares, holy and savage, you hold a triennial feast where you are clothed in ivy, bearing clusters of grapes. You were born of Zeus and Persephone, where he lay with her in bed, which is not to be spoken. Immortal Damon, sweet and blameless, hear my voice, and with a kind heart, inspire us together with her finely dressed nurses. Come, 
become blessed by him, slayer of Tidios, O Phobos, god of Memphis, bright thing giver wealth, or the golden liar and herdsman, lord of seeds, titan, slayer of the python, and Delphic prophet, wild, lovely, light bringing daemon, renowned youth, you lead us in choral dance, flinging far arrows from a bow, holy fine one, working from afar. Your eyes see all and bring light to mortals. Gold haired, you reveal accurate oracle words. So hear me praying for the people and have a kind heart. For you see the boundless ether and the rich earth from above. And through the dead of night and the still silence under the starry eyed darkness, you perceive the roots below. You hold the cosmic bounds and you have concerns for the first and the last great God. Decked with flowers, you harmonize the poles with your quick striking lyre and arrive now at the highest string, then turning downward to the lowest ones in the Doric mode. Balancing the poles, you draw distinctions between the living nations. In harmony, you measure a common share to the people, an equal mix of winter and summer for each of them, and you pick out the notes, the lowest with the winter and the highest for summer. In the spring, you play the Doric's most flowered seasons. For this mortal celebrate you in song and call you Lord and Pan, the two-horned God, who sends forth the whistling songs of the winds. Wherefore you hold the seal of the cosmos, so hear me, blessed one, this initiate's cry for you to be their savior. Out to you, great Apollon. I thank you day and night, great God. And you show us, great one, that even in the darkness, light will return again. Hell and blessings to you, great. And so we end our last prayers to you, Gratistia, great goddess, whose honor is the first and the last. Hell and blessings to you, great goddess, and we thank you tonight. So there you go, guys. A very simple prayer and ritual to the gods in honor of the winter solstice. So I hope you enjoyed this ritual tonight. Like I said, it is very simple. Nothing fancy at all. And hail to the gods. And I'll see you guys next time.